Now that we've solved the system of equations by hand using the graph, I'm going to show you how to do it on the TI-83 plus calculator. The TI-83 plus calculator, the first thing you should remember is when you turn it on, somebody else may have been using this calculator, especially if you're in a class and there's lots of people, other classes that are using it. So we want to clear the memory functions. To get to the memory function, memory functions are in yellow above the plus sign. So to get to them, we have to go second plus, and then seven is reset. That's what we want to choose. We want to reset all RAM, so we want to press 1. And then this is just asking us, are you sure you want to reset it? And yes, we are sure, so we press 2 to reset. So that was keys again were 2nd plus 7, 1, 2. And as you see, it now says that RAM is all cleared. So I'm going to press clear, and we're back to the screen. Now the graphing calculator can only graph equations in y equals mx plus b form. So whether you're using the graphing calculator or whether you're graphing by hand, probably you want to rearrange your equation into y equals mx plus b form first. So it's these two equations that we're going to use, the ones that I've already rearranged, into y equals mx plus b form. Now where you punch these into your calculator is right here. We put press the y equals button up here, and we get this screen that has all these y1, y2, y3, y4. Now, we're going to put our first equation into y1, and our first equation is negative 5 plus 2 7 So I'm going to go 2 divided by 7, and here's my x key up there. Now, I want you to notice that this negative out front, I put into the calculator using this button. That's the negative button. This is the minus button calculator knows the difference and it will give you a syntax error if you confuse the two or it will graph something that's completely different. So make sure that when you are putting something out front to make it negative, you use the negative key. If it is in between two terms, you're going to use the minus key, like we're going to do now when we put this one in. I'm going to use the cursor key and go down to Y2 and enter 1 minus 4 sevenths X in Y2. So I'm going to put in 1, subtract 4, divided by 7. You can use the division key to represent a fraction, and we need our x there as well. Now in order to display this, I press graph, and it's going to draw our two lines. Now we can see on here that that's where they cross, and if I move my cursor key, see how I've got that little arrow, there's a little crosshairs there. I could go as close as I want to it, to where those two things are, but it's not going to give it to me exactly. Okay? As we saw when we solved this earlier, the solution is 7, negative 3, and here we have 7.2 and negative 2.9. The problem is the resolution of the screen is not great, so we need to tell the calculator that we actually want to know what that exact spot is. We're going to get it to calculate for us. To get it to calculate for us, we need to get into the Calc menu, which is above Trace. So we press Second Trace, and it takes us into the Calculate menu. We want to find the intersection point, so we're going to choose 5. And now you can see that it actually is asking us first curve. You can find where curves cross, you can find where lines cross, you can find where a lot of things cross. That's why it's using the word curve instead of line. And you'll notice in the top left-hand corner here, it actually is telling us that the cursor is blinking on our y1 equation, which was negative 5 plus 2 7 x. If we want to choose that as our first line, and we do, I'm going to press Enter. Now you'll notice when I press Enter, the cursor immediately jumped to the second line, and it's telling us in the top left-hand corner again that that cursor is now blinking on the second line. We want to choose that for our second curve, so we press Enter. And now it asks for a guess. Now, if there was a curve here, it's possible that curves could intersect at more than one point. Since our lines don't intersect at more than one point, we don't even need to do the guess part. But what it's actually asking us to do with a guess is go as close as we can to where uh, we think the lines intersect, and then press Enter. 
And as you can see, it tells us the intersection is 7, negative 3. So again, if we, I'm going to go through this again. To get to the Calculate menu, to calculate where the intersection point is here, I'm going to clear that so we just have the two lines. We go second, trace, takes us into calculate. We want the intersection, so we're going to press 5. And then really, if we press enter, 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 it's going to choose the two lines and the guess, and our intersection is 7, negative 3.